Loves, how are you? Just trying to see that I have my sound off <laughs> on my laptop. <sighs> how are you all? How have you been? I'm so excited to be back here with you. I I told you guys I was planning on doing like a live video or something in Italy, but the internet just wasn't that great. And I was with my family, so I was enjoying my time. And yeah, so I just came back from Italy and I had the most amazing time. It was so beautiful. The whole, the entire country just looks like a painting <laughs> wherever you look. I didn't expect it to be that beautiful. And the wine fields and the olive the olive fields, like the vineyards and, you know, the, the cypresses, the trees, it just, it was so like typical Italy, you know what I mean? And, and just the different, when the light hits it differently, it just looks like a, a beautiful painting. It just, I was just like wowed by everywhere I looked. And of course, I had a good time with my family. I ate all the good foods. I had the most delicious pastas and, and tiramisu and fruits and it was just amazing. Oh, and there were fig trees everywhere. So if you follow me on Instagram, um, I have um, my own fig trees that, that I got when they were like really tiny and now this year I actually had some figs. And <clears throat> where I live, it's a big thing <laughs> to grow figs, like they, they are very particular. And, but in Italy, they're just growing everywhere, you know, they're all over the place, like weeds. My dad was like, well, they're just growing everywhere. It's like a weed. But um, yeah, the figs were amazing too. <laughs> so I had a good time and it was a much, um, Joy says, sounds delicious. Yes, it was. Yeah. I went to this one little market and the figs, they were, they were like a tennis ball size. It, oh, they're my favorite. So good. So, yeah, it was a much needed, like, kind of a time out for me, and it got me thinking once again about being present, and, you know, I was with my family, I was with my husband, and I try to be as much, you know, present with them as possible, and, and you know, that can be very triggering sometimes, right, especially with family, it's, it's very, um, for me, that's, that's, it's very triggering, because they, like, trigger all the things in you. I don't know if you, you can relate to that, but that's how it is for me. And, you know, I spent time in cities. We went to Pisa, we went to Florence, uh, we went to these beautiful um, coastal towns. And, you know, we spent time in, time in nature, by the pool. And I just really, every day I set the intention to practice, you know, being more present and more present and more, being in the moment, taking it all in, right? And, you know, it's, Italy is one of those places where it's so easy to feel that pleasure for me because, you know, wherever you look, there's just beauty. Like, I don't, yeah, it's, I, it was kind of the same in, um, in Mexico to some degree, but differently though in Mexico it was more lush and like the food was so color like it was just more colorful and in Italy it was just like beautiful like people dress up people take their time dining and and the food is super simple but so fresh and so good and you know it's like that I don't know that Mediterranean vibe and it's just really easy to drop into that pleasure over there and that got me thinking, of course, like sometimes we need to go another place, right? To notice that more, to, to, to notice that, oh, maybe I haven't been that present in my, in my normal daily life as much as I would like, right? And of course, like I, I do it here. I'm, I'm in nature every day. I live on a small farm, right? And I'm always seeking out moments of being in the moment more and, and feeling that pleasure and you know, like for me, that's, that's kind of easy right now. That's what I teach. That's, my, that's what my mission is. That's my essence, right? But I also had to learn to make that a priority. And it wasn't always easy for me and not perfect with that either. So, you know, what I meant was 
sometimes it takes going to another place to really reawaken that even further, right? We, we just keep on going like, like an onion, like all these layers, right? We keep on going deeper and deeper into that. And of course, that doesn't have to be another country. Like I can, we can easily do that in our normally daily life too. And it's just sometimes we just get like a little stuck, right? Like it can be going to a different nature trail or a different place where you take yourself for lunch or a different place to get your coffee, like whatever. Like a little break in the routine is what I noticed when I was on, on vacation. Normally, I like for example, I work out every morning and then I meditate. And I didn't even do that at all. <laughs> no, none, not at all. But now that I'm back, it's important and I look at it differently, right? Do you see what I mean? Like taking a little break in the routine or doing something different, it's like helps you take in the moment a little bit more. Like doing something different, being present, being grateful that you get to do this and that you are aware of this within yourself. It's really important because how many people are not aware of this at all, right? No, I just I just noticed that for myself and how, how beautiful that was, you know, to kind of just be present in a different way, you know? Does that make sense? Does any of this make sense? <laughs> so I also felt that Italy was very feminine, which is funny because Europe, you know, is, is like kind of where patriarchy is, is based out of, I guess, in my eyes, right? But it's interesting because underneath that, and this is all over Europe, like whenever I go back to Europe, like this is, this is what's real for me, right? Underneath all the beautiful churches and underneath all the cathedrals and underneath like everything, <laughs> I see the feminine, right? So when I was in Florence, I saw, like I see Venus, I see the goddess statues, like that's what I noticed. I saw Medusa. You know, I, I saw the goddess and I saw the feminine underneath everything, right? From thousands and thousands of years ago. And I don't know, I just found that really interesting and something was telling me to share that with you, that the feminine is always there, right? And maybe that's, this is just because that's what I see, like it's what I know. I read a lot about the history of the feminine and like matriarchies thousands and thousands of years ago you know I did a lot of of reading on this topic and I I can feel it maybe it's just because I feel every everywhere I go the earth is very feminine right but that energy is reawakening all over the world right that's why you're here listening to me that's that's that reawakening of the feminine and that was just another thing that I really loved about being in Europe again, you know, being in Europe in general. It was a reminder to see that wherever you go, you can find that you can find that feminine essence in a different way. And it's just opportunities to take that in and it's taken that pleasure. And like, for example, on a superficial level, like everyone is dressed up more in Europe, you know, like super fashionable, taking themselves out for a coffee on a terrace, you know, going shopping and no special occasion necessary. Like you're wearing your most beautiful dress, right? And that inspired me to do that more too, right? Like how feminine is that, right? And, you know, maybe some of you may relate to this and some of you may not really, but for me, like I live on a farm, right? I used to work in, in a corporate um, space where I got to dress up a little more. Um, but now I live on a farm. I work from home. I go out into nature <laughs> almost every day. Like I don't wear my most beautiful dresses on a daily basis, but I do have them. You know, I have so much beautiful clothes and jewelry, but you know, I, I never really make that effort a lot. So it was for me you know, that recommitment to, to make a little bit more effort in that regard too, because those things do make me feel very feminine and like worthy when someone's giving you a compliment and you know, it, it's, it's easier to take that in that way. So it was very inspiring for me to be there. And that kind of weaves into the point that I wanted to make um, today in this video 
Um, and I think it's kind of shining through it already with what I shared, but that living from the feminine can be very practical too, right? It's the little things that like taking in the moment and feeling grateful and wearing that dress when you go out, taking in a compliment, like really taking it in your body, right? Really receive it. Um, enjoying a nice tiramisu, <laughs> you know, turning your phone off for a few hours. Like I was talking to one of my clients and her goal right now is to be less on her phone. So just that's a very practical um, way of living more in your feminine, right? Very practical, but it will slow down your mind so you can be more in your body, which is the feminine, right? Does that make sense? So turning off your phone for a few hours and enjoy being in your own presence or with the presence of your family or your partner or your friends, right? Taking yourself for a coffee or a tea. And those are very practical things that we can take care of ourselves that way and be more present and feel more pleasure and feel more in the moment because pleasure comes from being more in the moment. And then, of course, on the flip side, living from the feminine goes way deeper than all that too. Like, how worthy do you feel? How does your intuition play into all this? Are you living from your empowered feminine or your disempowered feminine? How does your inner masculine dance with all this, right? So, <coughs> excuse me. So, I'm going to be teaching a free workshop on all of this next week. And I don't know exactly what date yet, but this is this is going to be the topic. And I'm going to do it right here in the group. So I'll, I'll share um, the details later with you about the time and the day and um, um, how you can join me live. You just have to be in this group, so you're good. <laughs> so, but um, for example, if you want to set intentions for your life or for your business or for your career or you want to attract a relationship or more money or more opportunities or you just want to feel better in your body or you want to make positive changes for yourself or you know in any area of your life really you can apply this to the hustle right the hustle that we're used to that I used to live in that it doesn't work it doesn't work the controlling doesn't work the the wanting to fix things and wanting to control things to be a certain way, it doesn't work, right? But on the other hand, if we come from our inner empowered feminine, right, that we trust, we feel, we celebrate, and we're, um, we can self-source the satisfaction, right? That is when we get to see ease and joy and pleasure and fun and our intuition is immediately on board with us in that because that's where it stems from, right? So that's kind of what we'll be talking about. And I'll probably go way, I'll, not probably, I'll go way deeper into this. And what I meant to say, I'll probably give you some steps or like an outline. I'll probably structure it that way so that this makes more sense because this can go really deep. But I'm also all about giving you these practical things, right? So... I want to make sure that I'm combining both of those things. So comment below on this video if you're interested and if you have any questions or any, you know, comments or ideas that, you know, about this topic so that I can um, incorporate them into that free training because I feel this is a really important topic and like everyone I talk to, they want to know more about this, right? So. I'm going to be doing a free training on this and um, I'll send, I'll post all the details later, probably tomorrow. I'll probably look at my schedule for next week and see where I'm going to fit it in. And then I hope you can join me. And in the meantime, let me know in the comments, like any questions or any particular topics or any um, areas of your life that you may um, want to apply this to, like really living from your empowered feminine and from that place of pleasure, right, and place of presence. And um, let me know so that I can like, kind of use that as an example and kind of coach you as well during that free um, training next week.
Okay, so as always, I'm here for you. I love you. I'm happy to be back here. And I'm happy to be connecting with you all again. And um, Joy says, I'm <laughs> reading a comment. I was definitely let here today. Your message really striking home for me. Yay, you're welcome. And that's being let somewhere, right? Is your intuition already. So I don't know if you had set an intention around that, but that may as well. Like that's a perfect example. When you set an intention, you are led to the places where you need to be, right? And and this happens more and more the more that you do you dive into this work so I'm really happy that you shared that with me so um yeah I think that was all the comments Alrighty, righty I'll leave you with that I'm sending you much love and have a good weekend Mwah! bye